Welcome Taurus. We are going to be making an inquiry today, okay, to see what comes through and what you need to know right now. We'll be using Work Your Light Oracle cards, um, particularly the inquiry cards, okay, Mystical Healing and Osho Zen Tarot. Alrighty, let's get into it here. Taurus. One card for Taurus, please. One inquiry card for Taurus. Hopefully it jumps out. Oh, there it is. There it is, just like that. Okay. Starseed. What lights you up? What lights you up, Taurus? Let's have a look here. We're going to read that at the end. Let me just get this ready because then I don't have to do it at the end. Starseed. I feel like, you know, there's, there's this kind of sense of you I don't know, rising above things, rising above everything and, and working out um, what helps you to kind of get into that sense of ownership of your life in a sense, or what, yeah, okay, so I don't feel like that came out right, okay, so Taurus, Three cards for star seed for Taurus, please. What lights you up? That just went on the floor. Is it? it I don't even know. I can't even see it. It's gone. It's gone somewhere. I'll find it though. I'll just get the third card first. What lights you up, Taurus? I feel like there's this contemplation needed here. Some of you may know off the bat, but. I don't know, I feel like it could be something that you need to maybe discover. Uh, but let me get this card first. Okay, so the first card out here is examine your integrity. Okay, so, hmm, interesting. I just wonder if some of you feel a little bit like a puppet on a string. This is quite interesting because a similar message came out for Aries. So if you have Aries in your chart, Maybe go and have a look at that video, or maybe look anyway. But um, I feel as though there's... There's a misconception here. There's... there's it's it's kind of like, for some of you, you... Sort of believe that you are doing what you want to do, but... You're doing what you're doing because initially that was controlled by somebody else. And maybe it's come to pass that now you really love what you're doing. Um, but there's still this control. And I feel like it, it, it's a matter of you examining your truth, examining your calling here. And when we're looking at what lights you up, it's kind of like, is it just that? You've come to do it for so long um, that you think it's what you're meant to be doing, but it doesn't really fulfill you. Not 100% anyway. Mm. But you've, you've really become so good at it, and, and everyone will compliment you on on how you um, execute uh, what it is that you do because you are so professional at it, if you like. But it's kind of, I don't know if it's really the thing that you want to be doing. And, um, yeah, look at this, right? We've got this courage here. It's, it's that you've, for some of you, Taurus, you've grown through some tough, tough, tough times tougher than what most have had and you've grown into the light anyway um and and that's what this reminds me of like you've actually you've done more than just what you were meant to do you've actually grown wings look at this growing wings on a on a wooden puppet on a stick right on a wooden figure on a stick right that and this is it Taurus this is this is how incredible you are, right? How, how, what a gift that you have. 
because you're able to do that, you're able to grow through the cracks with no nurturing, with no loving, with only hardness around you and stone around you and you grow into the light anyway. This is you. This is who you are. And, and I take my hat off to you because, wow, what I'm feeling here. Um, but there's still something inside of you that goes, this is not really, this isn't me. This is not what I'm meant to be doing, right? Um, and, yeah, I feel like when you step back and really look at what lights you up, that's going to cause you to have a massive, massive breakthrough. And, and potentially... Taurus, without you even really trying, because um, it's just, it's almost as though the light within is going to just burst that um, shell that you have around you, okay, or the shell that other people have tried to place around you, all right, um, you're, you're not just, you know, your standard mediocre person, you're something special, and um it's really time to tap into that. And it's that's not that's not a cocky thing to do. You know, that's not cocky to go, I'm I'm really, you know, amazing at this thing. I have this gift that I want to share with the world. And I know that I'm incredible at it and and really own that. You know, you see with people who really care about themselves and nurture themselves and love themselves and they're there in that peace and that energy compared to someone who doesn't have that and is trying to prove to the world that they're all that, right? There's a massive difference there and I don't feel like you are the latter. You are definitely the former. Okay, so yeah, you you know, you would you would be able to very easily grow something in your life with you know just with the it, like it, it's almost with ease it all comes with ease and this is the thing Taurus when you have to really fight for something and it doesn't happen with ease question is this really the best thing for me is this what I want does this light me up how does it make me feel inside is this igniting the passion within me you know, and this could be career, it could be a relationship, it could be friendship, it could be anything in your life, it could be spiritually, what lights you up, right? Um, and then we have guidance here, so um, I feel like there's a direction potentially for some of you that you've been called to heaven, head in, and, and it's actually um, part of your, your makeup um, and part of your journey. Um, but you've been turning away from it, okay? But when you step into it, you will be successful. You will absolutely have that success, okay? And then the next card here is take positive action, right? Because this is the thing. This is what I was trying to say before, that you can do anything with ease, right? This is you growing this orchard with ease, just wandering through. Like, yeah, yeah, planted these a while ago. And look at them, they grew. Wow, you know, that's because you know, you know where to plant them, you know how to nurture them, you have that within you, you can plant a seed in between the rock like you were planted here and you will grow because you have that ability, Taurus, okay, and this is, this is you sitting in a bathtub here, able to sail the ocean in a bathtub, right, um, yeah, so this is really about you taking that action towards what it is that you know that you were born to do, okay? And start asking that question, what lights you up if you're unsure, okay? Um, and start discovering that so that you can begin to actually let that um, take form in your life, okay? So let's just see what other cards come out here. That's it. Alrighty, so let's jump these over here. Now, what have we got here? I have it was for that one. Okay, so here, Taurus. Yes, yeah, see, some of you are really um, trying to work that out, maybe feeling a bit in between two places. Um, I feel like some of you are feeling quite torn. And also with this positive action card here, 
there was a sense of vulnerability um, and it's very apparent in this card here. Uh, what I feel like is very necessary for you is to rise above what is going on in here, okay? We have this card here, the mind, and this is potentially overthinking things, okay? And not believing that you could, is it that? Not believing you could achieve it? I don't know if it's about that, Taurus. I have a sense more of making excuses um, because it might seem too hard and we can get in a comfort zone right we can get stuck in a rut I know how to do this so well it's so easy but it's not fulfilling you right it's time to get out of the comfort zone here yeah for sure this card here conditioning you see we've had this conditioning and this experiencing card here and it's time for you to step out of um what it is that you're used to and really start experiencing life start to get the feeling for other things and if you're not entirely sure what that is yet that's okay just go and try other things so that you can break out of what you are used to because this lion here is you you are not a sheep you are the lion you've been tied up for far too long you know you you have um you have so much more to offer the world and it's time to allow that out it's time to step into that okay um because it's sort of like you've done everything you can um here with what you're doing okay it's done it's done and dusted now and if you stay in there if you stay in that environment whatever that environment is for you you're going to end up rotting away you're not going to be able to flourish any more than what you have. Okay. Um, and yeah, so, and, you know, I feel like this laziness card here, very interesting because I never really like the word laziness on it because I always feel like it's a bit mean, but I, I feel like in a sense, it's like, it needs to be said, don't be lazy. You know, and I don't mean that horribly as if to say, oh, you're so lazy, you don't do anything. I mean... Don't get lazy about yourself. Put the effort into yourself because you deserve it. That's what you're worth, right? And so it's standing up and really taking ownership of saying, do you know what? I actually do deserve to have effort put into. You know, and it's sort of the case here, Taurus. If you want other people to put effort and time and love and energy into you, and you're not prepared to do that for yourself and your own life, then it's unfair to ask anyone else to do that. Yeah? So, yeah. And this last card here is show self-respect. Yeah. Which is really interesting because now they're standing on the wings, right? So these wings down here it reminds me of these wings here. It's kind of like using yourself to boost yourself up in a sense. But show some self-respect. What are you worth? The sun here. The sun is jumping out because we've got soul here. And the sun is behind his head. This is these ideas. I feel like this is taking action on the ideas that come up, trying new things, trying out all sorts of different ideas, not sitting there thinking, oh, nah, that won't work, that won't work. Here, see, postponement, not doing it. You know, seeing the vision, but not actually taking the action there. Um, and, and ultimately, what that is doing is that's not, you're not respecting yourself when you do that because you are here. Oh, dang, that went on the floor. Uh, you are here for a reason, right? And at the end of the day, if you're going to ignore these callings, um, then you're not paying respect to the, the higher purpose of what it is that you're here for, and you're not giving respect to yourself, okay? Let me just pick this card up. Okay, so um, we also have nothing this card here. he come out next after this, It's and it is um, kind of like going into the stillness, to bring through these ideas, to ask for this um, ideas to take the action because some of you may have the ideas but not too sure what the next step might be. Um, so ask to be shown, 
you know, because you have your guides there, you have your angels, your past loved ones, and whoever else is working with you. Um, so asked from the highest source of light to be shown, what is the next step? Where do I need to go? You know, ask for those opportunities to be put in front of you for you to move forward. Okay? And, um, yeah, uh, this here I feel like is the missing piece of the puzzle because for so long, here, Taurus, even though you've been satisfied with what's going on and it's served its purpose and it's taken care of everything you need to take care of, it hasn't really made you feel complete and that is potentially because it's not your true calling it's not what you're really here to do when you step into um the thing that lights you up when you start doing that for yourself you will feel complete okay um and you will we've got transformation and going with the flow here so this is a new beginning okay we've got the transformation um this is about you transforming your entire life um and your actual being who you are not just as a um a physical being but also as a soul as a spiritual being okay the some of you may be making some excuses to not go ahead with what it is that you want to pursue um, because you don't believe that you have everything you need. So it's like, oh, I don't have that and I don't have that, so I can't do it. Excuses. That's excuses, right? It's just being lazy. If there's something that you need, go and do it. Okay, but this transformation here is telling me that, you know, the tools are there. The tools are there for the taking. Some of you may even have all the tools that you need. There may not be anything further that you need. Okay. But some of you may need to go and get some more tools and gather that up so that you can do that. Okay. Um, with this going with the flow here, um, if there's, I, I feel like this, there's this new beginning, right? Um, that is there for you. Um it's a possibility that some of you may be fighting that maybe is that right two cards for going with the flow yeah <laughs> yeah yeah you're fighting it look you're like no i'm not doing it go away go with the flow <clears throat> go with the flow and trust okay um trust yeah because you're hiding, you're hiding the treasure that you have to share with the world and you're hiding the gems within you. You're, you've built this wall so that no one can find them, but they're glowing. They're glowing and, and it needs to come out, right? You need to come out. You need to come out of the cage that you have put yourself into because you see everyone else flying. You see them all doing it there, Taurus. You see them out there and you're like, oh, wouldn't it be nice if I need? But I'm okay here because, you know, I've mastered this and I've got this down packed and I'm cool. But really deep down inside you're like, oh, but I really, really just, you know, there's that pull there for you, right? So yeah, so that's um, that's definitely something um, that needs to be pursued for yourself and, and this thing that lights you up right inside of you, that is what will light the world up, okay? So let's have a look, let's have a read of Starseed, what lights you up for Taurus here. Star seeds are souls with a double mission to raise their own consciousness and the consciousness of the planet. They are old souls who have incarnated elsewhere beyond this planet. Many star seeds arrive with a feeling that time is running out and that there is something that they came here to do or create or contribute. If you pulled this card, it is to confirm that you are a starseed and you are being encouraged to answer the call, to follow what lights you up. Once awake, most starseed souls find it hard to have meaningless conversations, jobs and 
relationships. They innately know that there is much more to life and feel that there is something more and get to work. They remain restless until they step into their calling, which is to light up the world with their unique presence. 100%. Starseeds are scattered all over the planet, in hospitals and schools, in slums and mansions, on stages and in edit suites, in parks and nightclubs, in taxis and theme parks. Many star seeds spend parts of their lives trying to fit in or in some form of spiritual closet. That's so true. If you are dimming your light to fit in, it is time that you stop and start embracing the unique light that you came here to share. And treat your time on earth like a glorious vacation. Awesome. Yep, what lights you up? Awesome, that's so cool. I love that. So Taurus, there you go. Okay, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you, bye-bye.